In the last two podcasts, we learned about Smokey the War Dog and her unofficial yet instrumental role in serving and entertaining troops during World War II. We also learned about her trainer, Corporal William A. Wynn, who as an airborne reconnaissance photographer brought the world's attention to this small four-pound Yorkshire Terrier found in a New Guinea foxhole. Smokey helped to deliver calm and peace to numerous wartime personnel who were injured and suffering. She continued to serve as both a therapy dog and entertainer throughout the Midwest, following the Wynn's brief work as a Hollywood dog trainer. One of the most famous military animals known in Australia is a donkey known as Murphy. During World War I, John Simpson Kirkpatrick, an Australian soldier, used a donkey to transport wounded soldiers to safety. His actions became legendary, symbolizing bravery and selflessness in the face of danger. Simpson and his donkey became iconic figures in Australian military history. Sergeant Stubby was an American war dog who served in World War I in France. He became famous for his bravery and loyalty, participating in numerous battles alongside U.S. soldiers using his keen senses to warn of poison gas attacks. He even apprehended a German spy in the trenches. Sergeant Stubby is one of the most celebrated wartime dogs globally. Wojtek was an extraordinary Syrian brown bear who was adopted by Polish soldiers during World War II. Wojtek became an official member of the Polish army and participated in battles, carrying ammunition while providing moral support to the troops. His story is celebrated in Poland and around the world as a symbol of courage, companionship, and the bond between animals and humans during wartime. Sergeant Reckless was a war horse who served with the United States Marine Corps during the Korean War. Despite her designation as a horse, Sergeant Reckless is often celebrated alongside other famous military animals for her extraordinary contributions and bravery on the battlefield. She carried ammunition and wounded soldiers, and her story has been widely documented and celebrated. She earned numerous awards and honors, including two Purple Hearts. Did you know that there was a National Services Memorial Act recently passed by Congress which approved and authorized the building of a memorial on federal land in Washington, D.C. There is broad bipartisan support to commemorate the heroic deeds and sacrifices of service animals and handlers in the United States. Next week, be sure to tune in to Mighty Lion Minute to learn more about the planning for this memorial, as well as hearing directly from world-famed animal sculptor Susan Bahari of San Francisco. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to today's Mighty Lion Minute. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Be sure to take a look at Mighty Lion's industrial safety products to help you or your management with 5S safety planning and code compliance. Their line of floor safety enhancements includes signage, floor striping, and safety color-coded products that are recognized as the best of the best. See you soon. Take care. Have a safe day. 